What is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video. Today I want to go over the topic of how often should you stretch. Now this one, this one is by far the most asked question that I get on any of my social media platforms and it's people who are trying out the full body follow along routines, doing the middle split routine, they just ask how often should I do it? And I try to mention in videos but maybe I'm not as clear so here is a video on it telling you the exacts about it. The question is a really good one because the devil is in the dosage. There are two concepts that we need to understand here. We have minimum effective dose and we have maximum coverable volume. So basically we have what's the least amount of work that I can do to get the most amount of results and then what's the most amount of work that I can do to still get results and not pass that point in which I can't recover from it. This applies mostly to strength and conditioning, but it also applies to flexibility. So if we don't stretch enough, then yeah, we're not gonna get results. But also, if we stretch too much, we can actually have the reverse effect and we can actually tighten up and not make optimal progress. So we need to find that middle ground. Good flexibility mobility training is very much like strength training. Let's look at a squat, for example. We can do a bodyweight squat because it's very low intensity and we can do that every single day without any issues. However, if we're gonna throw 100 kilos on your back and do a 100 kilo back squat every day, that's gonna catch up with you and the results that you're getting to get is probably not as good as if you had it in a proper program doing it one, two, three times a week, whatever it is. This exactly is the same as mobility training. If we were to lightly stretch our hamstrings on a daily basis, this isn't a problem. However, if we're gonna do multiple sets of weighted Jefferson curls, for example, then this might be too much on a daily basis over that maximum tolerable volume and we're not gonna get the best results. So ultimately we need to understand what type of stretching we're doing. When it comes to flexibility, you either use it or lose it. And doing some sort of daily grease the groove is a great way to maintain and keep your flexibility gains going on a steady cycle. So things like my full body mobility, flexibility routines, my morning mobility routine, my evening relaxation routine, all of those routines, that kind of style of passive, pretty chilled out stretching, nothing too intense, that works really well on a daily basis. Just generally using the range of motion that you want to develop is a great way of telling your body that it needs to have it. However, just doing this by itself doesn't tend to give the most optimal results. And this is why I end up recommending to people when they ask me, this light daily work, this greasing the groove is complemented best when it's accompanied by some heavy intense stretching on one to three times per week basis. And it's gonna vary from individual. You might find you're on the spectrum that you only need to do this stuff once a week to get great results. Some people find they might need to do it three times a week to get great results. More isn't better, less isn't worse. Kind of need to experiment for yourself to find what's right. The sort of routines that would fall into this category would be things like my beginner hamstring routine, which we're using Jefferson curls and we're using multiple sets and a little bit more volume and we're gonna need some more time to recover in between. Or something like my loaded middle split routine. So those more heavy, that loaded flexibility work, more of the flexibility work that you class as kind of strength training, then those we wanna be doing kind of one to three times per week. And that's basically it from what I've learned coaching clients, from what I've learned doing this myself for years, and then also from researching, is that to get optimal flexibility results, we're gonna be greasing the groove, some lower intensity stretching we wanna be doing on a daily basis, somewhere between five to seven times per week. And then we wanna be complementing that daily, that greasing the groove with some heavier, more intense stretching, one to three times per week. And that's basically it. What I will do is I'll link in the description down below to all the routines that I have on this channel so you can pick and choose and find ones that work for you and suit your goals. Because when it comes to this sort of stuff, knowledge is nice, but applying, doing it, that is the best option. So go into the description down below, grab yourself a routine and get started. Whilst you're down there, you can also go into the comment section, leave a comment, let me know what you're gonna try, let me know what your thoughts are on this. If you have any more questions, leave a comment down below and join the conversation. You can also just hit that thumbs up button if you found this video helpful. And right next to that is the subscribe button and you can hit that and join the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe so you don't miss out on any more of these future mobility, strength, bodyweight training videos that will help your training out. But that has been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and peace.